Welcome back, Pudlings. Welcome back to the Pud Motor channel. So, we've been getting a little bit of growth recently. And with growth comes this delicious thing called hate comments. So we're gonna go through something today. <laughs> I have been accused of deleting hate comments. Trust me, I'll never delete a hate comment. I love a response. I love responding. And I love winning the argument. <laughs> Maybe I'm petty. So this is a mixture of YouTube, but most importantly, TikTok. Okay, so because TikTok is so much worse. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with TikTok. And don't worry, we will be calling out the names. So I've got my little list of all of them. They are mainly on one video. I'll throw it up now. You still pulled out on someone there, you know. Open your fucking eyes, bitch. Chick, chick. It was very, very sensual. Ah. Naughty, naughty. The girl next to me in a car, in that red car there, just uh, took her phone out of the phone holder and she's in the car on her own. And now she's hiding it like I don't know. <laughs> Number plate. <laughs> and as you can see on the video, I'm quite jokey. I'm singing, I'm moaning. Uh. Ignore that. But people take things a little bit too seriously, I think. So anyway, first up, at Finlay, on TikTok says excruciatingly painfully cringe. Okay, Finland, if you're gonna cringe, you can cringe, but I'm not cringing. I'm not making anyone cringe, other than maybe quite a lot of people, to be fair, because I do. I'm a little bit. So it's each to their own. I mean, each to their own, Finlay. Finlay's a Oh, this one's good. At user 552855828243, nailed it. It's just said you are so gay. And is that a problem? Is that a, is that a problem? Hmm? User 552855828, yeah. Although I think my wife and child would beg to differ. Although I don't think the child makes you not gay. There's not much evidence to support that one, user 552. I'm doing it again. This is what I mean by people just get so irate by things. Right, so on that same video, at Luke T said, why do people on bikes think they're God's gift? One hit and you're How do you think, how do I think I'm God's gift? I filtered, I called out some bitches, and that's about it. At what point did I say I'm God's gift? I am. Buddha, Buddha's my God. Some people just need to calm down, I think. But he did find himself funny, to be fair, though, because he put five laughing emojis, so... Strong effort, Luke. Strong effort. Love it. Ah, oh. Emma, you're annoying. Nice one. Your grammar's tapped. Okay, Emma. You are? For your? You are annoying. These are the worst cumbacks I think I could ever think of. So this one I don't get. Okay, so at wide load five. I'm guessing that's not a truck. And that's your body type. Shall we body shit? <laughs> I don't know if it is, but... <laughs> Learn to stop using hand signals. It's actually an offence. So behave yourself and enjoy your riding. So if you're a, you're a, say a bicycle, how do you indicate? It's an offence. Wide load, I don't think you thought this one through. Maybe that is an offence. Who knows? But how many people have been, got done for throwing up the old V's or giving someone the bird. People don't get, don't get offences for things that are offences these days, so... Wide Lord, I think your comment is denied, bitch. Uh, oh. Vanessa Crow, oh, I hate these sort of people so much. Now, I wonder if that's aimed at me or is it aimed at the people in the video? Because to be fair, the people in the video didn't do that much wrong. One that sort of pulled out on me, but there was nothing wrong really at all. I was just messing about. And then one was on a phone at a station with traffic light. Yeah, you're not supposed to do it. But I wouldn't think that that's the kind of thing that would get them. you to hate all those sorts of people. So I'm going to say it's aimed at me, Vanessa. Vanessa, get yourself in a bin and remain there. Remain. At oh. Feeny Feeny 178. What a rat. <laughs> the thing I like about TikTok is it's like less of explaining why they hate you and it's more just like rat. Gay, annoying. Oh, this one's, this one's, when you start to see people, look, this is when it's less insulting and now it's more like, geez, you might be a bad person, actually. So, L, that's, that's the name. K, 
can't call them out really. I mean, you can see the profile picture, maybe it's that little bitch there. So. Driving a motorbike like a wanker is a trend at the minute. I really pray if you do this, you get knocked off. Wow. Jesus L. You know what I find mad? It's mad how people so easily can say comments like this. But then I suppose it's just, what's the classic term? Keyboard warrior? I don't think half of them actually know what they're saying, so I don't really care. <laughs> but if, you, if you're if you the type of person that will actually pray, pray, Jesus, God's gift and you're praying to God that I fall off or get knocked off, to be fair. If you're the type of person that actually prays for that, give you any shake, have a pint. <laughs> At Kieran Lalou. This guy is so jarring. And you know what's jarring to me? Using the word jarring. Jarring. Oh, it's so jarring. So jarring. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one, because that guy's jarring me. I googled my username. That person let the car in. This is relating to the previous video. That person let the car in. You just decided to forget you had brakes. Just as bad as a cyclist. That old chestnut thinking they're entitled. One, I am entitled to filter, bitch. Two, if I'm filtering, you can't just pull out still, even if someone else is letting you out. For example, if you're on the opposite side of the road and you let someone out, yeah, go on, go on, but there's another car coming the other way, do they have to stop to let the person out? No. Would you? Probably a lot of the time, yes. But do you have to? No. Do they just suddenly get right away because the person in this lane went, mm. you can go, I'm the fucking police now. I decide to traffic laws. No. So remember, if you're filtering, you are still on the highway. So you still have right away. And anyway, did I forget I had brakes? No. Did I hit the car? No. So did I break? Yes. Shut your face, Google my username. At Cara, he's so unfunny acting like they can hear him. No, that's not quite how having a helmet on and talking for a TikTok works. It's called, I'm creating a video. I don't need them to hear me. I'm not trying to get them to hear me. Otherwise, I would have popped the visor, knocked on the window and gone, Oh, you get up your phone, you bitch! Oh, man, people need to calm down. Jeez. One guy said he sounds like Borat. I'll take it. Moving on. At King Billy, Billy, this is why car drivers despise riders. Not much context behind that one. I assume he's a car driver who despises a rider. What he doesn't realise is most riders are car drivers. And do all car drivers hate riders? Let me know in the comments. Comment. At user 0121R, proper little loser you, ain't you? I'm glad he put a bit of swaz on the end. Ain't you? Ain't you? I mean, I don't see if making the video is more of a loser than someone commenting on the video that you are a loser, ain't you? Which is more of a loser. Maybe just the video, to be fair. <laughs> but thank you for that constructive feedback, user 0121R. Right, this one's a good one. So, at Baldy Slaps UK. So that is a good username. I will give him that. That's a good username. And he's even got the little logo to go with it and everything. So he's thought about it. All for a hit account. No, it's not really hit, but... At Baldy Slaps UK said, My ancestors texted driving for 978 years and have been fine. <laughs> so I responded, seems like a perfect reason to let everyone do it. So looking back, it does look as though there may be a hint of sarcasm in his massage. But if there isn't, justifying using a phone while driving, because oh, people used to do it though. There's plenty of things people used to do that you probably shouldn't do these days. <laughs> Not to mention the amount of deaths that have occurred because of people being on the phone while driving. Why do people have so much of an issue for me calling out and loving someone on the phone? Do, not, do people not know that all bikers are allowed to act like the police? Sorry, don't get jarred. And Ashy Washy, that's the bike's fault. Just because you've got a bike doesn't mean you can skip the queue. That's called filtering. It's legal. Get over it car driver or non-car driver you might even actually be an ashy washy granny but it's very legal and i do have a bike which means i can filter you can't filter in a car so just the simple fact that i have the bike means that we're better than you i think i'm just purposely saying things to get people to comment more here i can get another video out of it i suppose 
No, I'm only joking. I'm not like that. So that is actually TikTok done. So this is actually the same video, but as a YouTube short, seems to throw up all the hate comments again. So let's start. Like I said, these are a little bit longer because it's YouTube. So this one guy, we had a good discussion and he said a few things that were a little bit weird. So he said driving on the chevrons as you approach an island is done, regardless of if it's legal. Not when there's standstill traffic there, because if there's standstill traffic and it's very safe to do so, it's it's totally a decent thing to do. You're cutting down the flow of traffic, so shut your anus, Lewis. Oh yeah, it's at Lewis7423, in case you're wondering. He said, driver had to swerve to give you room to get back in because we in a stupid road position where you couldn't be seen. But yeah, another biker that is quick to comment on everyone else's poor judgment but indignantly defends his own. Uh, I'm glad he used his words like indignantly, but in the previous sentence he says, because you we in a stupid... <laughs> So I basically said that it's safer for a bike to filter and the driver that swerved courteously moved out of the way of me because people tend to do that sometimes. Nice drivers move across to let bikers that are filtering through and make it easier. Oh, Lewis. And he also said that they couldn't see me. Well, if they couldn't see me, how would they know to swerve? Got you there on a bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Anyway, so then he put poor motor Courteously, he said, you should review the footage and learn what swerving looks like. Good luck with the ego and make sure you're on the organ donor register. Someone will appreciate it. Well, you know what? I'm glad someone will appreciate it. But the second you say the organ donor comment when you're putting messages to a bike, all your credibility is out of the window. The window. Anyway, these days, isn't anyone, everyone automatically on the organ donor register? And you've got to opt out if you don't want to be. It's funny how they say it, like, being an organ donor is a bad thing. Are you saying it's a bad thing, Lewis? Do you not want to save lives? So I basically said the exact thing I just said. If you make that comment, then you're a bit of a... Mm -hmm. Then he said... He said it because he scraped people off the roads before... Of course you have, Lewis. I've driven a road long enough to have seen much more competent and more experienced riders than you become memories. I'm sure I'm going to become a memory by filtering incredibly slowly down some standstill traffic. He said, your ego reduces your odds. Yeah, it probably does, to be fair. Doing a little bit of filtering and avoiding someone pulling out on you, I don't think that means you've got a high ego bubble. <laughs> and then I responded, but I can't remember exactly what I said. And he said, oh no, I said, you must really hate having fun. And then he said, you must really hate YouTube because of being such a delicate flower. He said, just ask your family not to do a GoFundMe afterwards. It's tacky. How is doing a GoFundMe tacky when someone has lost their life? So I just put, just keep comment, just keeping you commenting as it helps boost the video. And then he carried on and he was like, it needs it. Blah, blah. So then I, I think I, I'm not screenshotted it, but I think I said something along the lines of, and he keeps commenting yet again. Thanks for the boost. And then he didn't respond. So I'm going to take that as a win. Lewis, you have been defeated by me, a chubby biker. Moving on from Lewis. He's taken a lot of the limelight of this video. I don't like it. You're weird if you don't do that. At Simon Richards 2779. I have a motorbike, but you have a go at people driving. Why is you having a motorbike a reason that I can't have a go at people driving? He says, but you have put three points on your license for driving in the white lines. Shit driving. For a starter, Simon, if you're driving the motorbike you have, you're doing it wrong. It's riding. And also the white lines, the chevrons, they have a broken border. It's legal. So if you have a bike and you don't know that and you avoid them, then you shout, look mate, you're missing out. You're missing out because you could be filtering. The next one, at Alor2495, I've probably butchered that. This video is worthy of a report on dangerous, unsafe activity. Where? Filtered, yes. Oh, 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 it must mean the person who pulled out and the person using the phone. Ah. Right, so maybe that shouldn't be in this hate comment video. Thanks, Alor2495. Oh, 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 you're making the world a safer place. At Ray W6876. But say it how you feel, mate. What a complete four hashtags. I assume that's swearing. Put in the comments what swear word you think it was. I think it says what a complete saying. 
has an issue with a phone in a stationary car despite thinking that zero rules apply to himself. Right, we'll start with that. An issue with a phone in a stationary car. Not how to use your phone while you're driving. Police. Get Ray. Despite thinking that zero rules apply to himself, I followed all the rules of the road. And then he said, a car merged into a queue, and if the bike has a problem with it due to riding outside of a lane, he should walk. So if you're filtering, cars are fully allowed to pull out on you and knock you off if they want, because you're not in a lane. Just walk alongside Ray. No, but this is the thing about a lot of drivers especially. There's this big issue with filtering, and it's definitely all down to the fact that they're jealous because they're stuck in the traffic. Like I was driving the car the other day and I was so frustrated driving because I wasn't on my bike and I couldn't filter. To the point bikes had come past and I was like, oh, motherfucker, I wish I was on my bike. <laughs> so if you can't ride a bike and you don't ride a bike, I can imagine it is quite jarring. But don't take it out on the bikers. Take it out on the government. Or just take it out on yourself because you could just go and get a bike. Go get a cheap 125 and just do that instead of being a little bum face. I also love, it's like a repeat comment about the car can just merge into the queue. He's not merging into a queue, he's pulling out of a separate road into a line of traffic. And if there's a bike that can be clearly seen in the wide chevron box coming down the centre, then you can't just pull out on the bike. I mean, in the video, it's not a big deal at all because they slowly come out and I was quite far back to be fair. But it's not even about the video now, it's about generally what they're saying is that doesn't matter how close it is or how much you do pull out on the bike, the bike is filtering at their own risk. So if someone pulls out on them, it's the biker's fault. It's just not. The biker can be vigilant, which I was, because you expect it so that it avoids it and you don't get into bad situations, because it wasn't a bad situation. Because if I film that and, you know, you make a big deal out of it, which I didn't, it was a joke, but you make a big deal out of it, then you get people coming in the comments and then every comment they do, boosts the video. This is what they don't realise because this one on TikTok is actually the video that has got by far the most views. Like everything else is like a couple of hundred thousand but this one's got 1.1 million views on TikTok so and I think it's probably down to a lot of the haters. And a lot of them I've not even seen. It's like there's a you can review the comment section and then check for inappropriate ones and you go in that and it's just there's just tons. That's where a lot of these ones were found especially you're so gay. Oh, right. Okay, cheers, mate. <laughs> See, there wasn't that many on YouTube, so this one's actually the last one. But at Dude Gosling, nice name, said, The ball bag is riding the bike. You see what he's done there? He's used the insult I use quite a lot. Or if you're Scottish, ball bag. A ball bag. I do quite like ball bag, actually. Sorry, back to the cop. Because I use the word ball bag. He has used it against me. And he's insinuated that I am the ball bag because I am the one riding the bike. And that hurts. That hurts a lot. So to be honest, that was the last comment. But it's just too much for me. And I think because of these people who can write mean messages on their phones and over the internet, I'm going to have to stop my YouTube channel. I'm going to have to stop riding the bike. I'll never filter again. I might not actually leave the house again. I'm going to become a recluse. I'm going to forever be inside and I might start commenting on other people's videos like they do. Or I could edit this video, try to take the piss out of all of them, tag them all in it and see what chaos ensues. Thank you for watching this video. <laughs> I know it's a bit of a random one, but I just thought oh, I've got quite a few now. So I think maybe we could all have a laugh at the, their expense together. And let me know some of the comments you've had before. If you've got a channel or if you've not, or even some of the comments you've seen on people's videos that are just mental. I feel like there's so many haters out there now, but much more lovers. That's attractive. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this was entertaining. More of the face, you know what I mean? We've got more of the face, more of the interaction, more of me. Me and the bike. Brum brum. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. And if you're a hater, I want to see the subscription. Share the video as well if you want. I'll show it to your friends. Tell your mum to subscribe. Tell your grandma to subscribe. And even tell your bike hating, a biker hating, car driving friends and acquaintances subscribe to Pudmore. Love you.